Let's discuss the query builder. So if I would like to make a little bit more detailed searches, also potentially save those searches, uh, we're going to look at something called the query builder and how to use that to search through your inbox. We just, fin we just finished talking about instant search and now I want to talk or take that a little bit farther and talk about the query builder that's part of instant search. So what I would like the ability to do, just as a quick example, is I would like to search through my inbox for any emails that are flagged for follow-up that a student has sent me. That's their email address. So what I would do is if I want to get that kind of detail, next to my search box, let's pull this over a bit so we can see a little better, I have a pull-down arrow. Now if I click that pull-down arrow, it enables my query builder. Okay? And in my query builder, I can do detailed searching. So I could say, okay, the flag status here, that's being added. Now I can add criteria at any point, so I can add additional pieces uh, into this box. So the flag status, I'm going to flag for follow-up, and from, let's say, I'll just say student, automatically it has searched my inbox and has narrowed it down for me there. If I would like to clear my results from here, again, I can use the X. It wipes out any searches that any search criteria I would have set and it brings everything back into my inbox. So this query builder I can use to do detailed searching on specific fields and multiple fields for that matter and it works just like instant search in the sense that as I'm typing there's no need for me to actually hit enter and do search it searches automatically and my results are shown. So the query builder just takes it that extra step uh, farther into our searches that we might need to narrow down a search or just have the ability to save a particular search or search different fields. So the Query Builder is really, really useful if I need to do those detailed searches through your inbox or any elements in Outlook.